Okay, let's take a look at your question question here. One quick question, section one, that's always the name, or do we replace it? Okay, so um, yeah, it's not always the name, and you would replace it, and I thought I had said that in my other video, but maybe I apparently it was not clear. And uh, <clears throat> so let me show you how to do that. And in section three, one of the videos in there, I'm going to go through in depth everything you need to know about the navigation area and show you everything in there. So this is, um, this is a good little primer for you. So here is the actual entirety of the membership area. And um, what it, so it's just, it's just a single element, as you know, that you put in the navigation here. And then here's the mobile toggle. So again, we don't have to worry about that because we're not uh, in mobile here. And in your case, I completely remove the mobile stuff. But then as you come down, you have the header and then you have the lessons. You have the header and then you have the lessons. And it just goes back and forth here between them as they go down through every single one. And the top one will have a data target equal to section one. And then you come down to the next header, data target equals section two. The third header, data target equals section three. Well, for the lessons, they don't have this data target thing. What they have instead, they have a class. So here you have all of your classes, and here you have class of section one. Come down here, class of section two, class of section three, down here on the third one. So when we were looking at that code that we had in here, I was using here the class for section one. So again, that's right here, class of section one. And because we're targeting not the header section, we're targeting the lesson section. And we know that there's only going to be one element on this page with a class of section one. So we can target that element specifically by using that class of section one. So if you wanted to do this for section two, you have to replace the section one with the section two, section three, etc. Now, if we go back to the actual code, what I think I said yesterday was if you want to get rid of all of them, so every place where you have the uh, Wasabi OTO, every place where you're going to have this L membership nav overlay, which again, here you have it here and here and here, so all three of these sections, if I hover over them, all three of them are restricted by the uh, Wasabi OTO. So they get this class here again of L membership nav overlay. And what we're saying is go in and completely remove that. Now, if you want to change all of your um, overlays, if you want to change all the Wasabi OTOs to exact, and you just want to change them all. Let's just say all of you, all of them you want to go. Then you just take out this bit right here, and you just have L membership nav overlay space center, and then that right there is your um, your selector, and then we're just saying then remove those items. So it actually comes in, and it will. Basically, we'll right click here. We will basically, we delete that element. It's just gone. And then once we delete it, then we can add in something in its place. So I will reload that page. And let me put back in what I had here. And then you have your different, uh, those buttons. That, so I, I built that button for you and we're going to put that button back in there. So here's that button. And if you recall, I gave that button a data title of Wasabi OTO button. And so if you had different buttons that you wanted for each one of these, let me allow that. Um, if you had a different button that you wanted for each one of these, then you could create two, three, four, ten buttons, however many you needed. And then you would have to stack them all up here. So then in that case, I would name this first one Wasabi OTO button one, and you can call it whatever you want, of course. Um, but 
I would say call them all the same and then just call them one, two, three, four, five. If you want different buttons, you may not want different buttons. So if you want, again, the exact same button on each one and you want all those buttons going to exactly the same place, then inside of the code, again, what you can do is take out the section one part. So we take out section one right here. And if we do that, then every one of these membership nav overlays that we removed, well, actually I, I removed a little bit more than I should have uh, because we need to still leave the, uh, let me just click on this here, inspect that. We needed to have left this line right here. So what I should have deleted was everything. Well, there should be a center tag in here somewhere. Wherever it went to, um, all right, well, I'll, I'll quit playing around with that. It works. Just just follow my code. Um, so you just um, remove or you take this off. If you want all of your Wasabi OTOs to have exactly the same button, you just put, you take this out, the section one out, and you leave the rest. Now, if you want to have it be, uh, multiples. So then we, what I would do is I would just copy this and put it like this. And then I would go section two, section, let's say five. So section two and three, you don't want to remove it, but I don't know why you would do that. I'm, I'm thinking pretty much you're going to want to remove all of them because you need to change the language. So in your case, you're going to probably do that and then just remove the section one part, and then that will remove all of the old text that's in there, and then you can replace it. But then again, if you wanted to replace it, uh, but make it different on each one, you could say here, section two, section three, section four, and then because you're gonna give each one of your buttons a different name, then you'd be button one, button two, button three, and button four. So no commas, no nothing, just copy that existing line, change what the data title is to the same as the data title for the corresponding button, and make sure you change the section. But again, probably what you're going to be looking for is just to do them all exactly the same. And if so, just take out the section one and then you'll be good to go. So hopefully that answered everything. If you got any questions, let me know.